Today we want to share with you our experience building this simple yet efficient chicken coop and how it will be a major game changer for our farm. Welcome back to Raven Willow Farmstead. When we started homesteading, it was our goal that each animal had a job to do. And through our research, we discovered that chickens can do more than just lay eggs. We've been raising chickens in our kitchen for the last four weeks, and between the dust, noise, and high maintenance, they're starting to wear out their welcome. Aside from their impact on our kitchen, they're getting too big for their brooder and need to move out. For our chicken chateau, we wanted a minimal effort and ultra efficient chicken coop to minimize work and maximize output. After hours of reviewing dozens of chicken coop designs, we found several key features that were must haves for our first chicken coop. With everything going on on the farm, I elected to use my phone a friend option. And that's where Cody came in, an expert carpenter. We started building this rectangular coop four foot wide by 10 feet long by eight feet tall on deck blocks with a simple sloped roof. Efficiency and security were our key priorities. We can make it pretty later. We started with a simple four x four corner posts with deck blocks and leveled and measured them to the proper dimensions. We wanted a simple vertical coop lifted off the ground for better predator control and the key feature that allows for compost input below the sleeping chickens. It needed to be big enough for human access to be able to stand up inside and clean it out. The four feet width allows for four to six chickens per roost across and we wanted to be able to fit up to 40 chickens. Next, we started measuring and cutting the two x four floor joists and secured them every two feet to make sure it was stable and strong. Then Cody started measuring for the top of the coop. While I cut the 2x4s up at the house, he leveled and secured them onto the outside of the 4x4 corner posts, all under the watchful supervision of Fen. Side. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I was like, I want to get up there. He thought that was a very cool trick. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. I'm going to spin. So we'll be able to do it three sheets across the top, and then I can put the corrugated plastic up here on my. Might have to get a few more pieces of corrugated plastic. With Cody's expertise and assistance, we got the majority of the structure up in one day. Now it was up to us to finish off the roof, floor, and rest of the coop features. Some of the features we'll be including in upcoming videos, but a compost system, a solar powered electric fence, an automatic door, a roll away nesting box, rainwater collection with automatic water, and as well as a gravity fed feeding system. 
So the idea is under here, it's got an empty floor to it, which will have like hardware cloth underneath. So they can walk on it, but also when they're roosting at night, because they're really only going to be in here at night. They're pooping on all the green stuff that I shoveled in from the backside. And then once it's ready, I can shovel it out from here and out to here, start making like compost piles out of it, right? Which they'll then work for me and create into a uh, garden compost for us. So today, actually getting a little bit of a reprieve from the uh, black flies and the mosquitoes. Speaking of wood, we're going to be finishing the chicken coop today. I'm up here on the roof. I've got one more section here to finish off uh, for the plywood sheeting. And then I'm adding in the corrugated roof on the top of the plywood. And we're going to get this thing all finished up. I've got the fencing coming in uh, early next week. I'm going with like a three foot hardware cloth, a half inch. Um, it's galvanized. And then I've got T posts coming in, seven foot T posts. Um, can't wait because the geese, <laughs> they are getting loud. They're very social. Um, we love them to bits. They're absolutely adorable, but they always want attention and they just want to socialize and they will call to us and call to us constantly. And we know that we're calling to us because as soon as we go to them, they stop and they change their call to the like the little like lovey-dovey like chirp 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 kind of thing um but when we're too far away they they set off the alarm and they're like hey we need to get closer um plus the chickens uh we've had them out for a couple of days during the day they were doing just fine doing chicken things and they weren't cold at all feathering out quite nicely so batch one is is almost ready for the coop so the coop's got to be ready for them because monday if i got all the materials they're uh, graduating to the chicken coop. We're down here putting the last like finishing touches on the chicken coop. I'm gonna build a door here and nesting boxes are gonna go on this wall. Rob's up there cutting the, the boards and the wood and I'm kind of babysitting. It's hard to get any work done with how cute they are. They just want to be with us. They're just so social creatures and we leave them up in their little pen and they just chirp, 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 chirp. Now they are with us and they're just happy. And it's starting to pour. Oh, thunder. I guess once I get this in there, you can pass the plastic roof. Me too. Water the garden. Eating the trees. What's with this weather? It's kind of raining like for 10 seconds and then it goes away. And then it rains another 30 seconds. I'm okay with it. I like it though. Like yeah. it's breezy. Mine. It's cool out because it's been so hot. Me and too. the bugs aren't bad today. No, you're actually leaving us a little Standing outside the chicken coop here. So exciting. I have never actually had chickens. I was raised on a goat farm, but never had chickens. So this is my first time and I'm so excited. Rob's been doing such a good job building that coop. He had a buddy come and help him as well. He's got these maple trees here saved. We cleared everything else around it, but we saved these for some shade and also some aerial protection. I think he's going to use these for roosting bars, just on the outside, like a low-level roosting bar. 
that what these are for, hon? Yeah. So I'll take uh, some binder twine or whatever, and I'll just tie them onto the trees so that it's only like so high. Yep. Just follow me back. The only way I can steer the phone call conversation back here is putting my phone up here. Yeah, I like best reception up here. Of course. Hey, mom. <laughs> Welcome back. It's like a hot spot in the chicken coop. I got a two by six by 10 to roll along here. It's a little long, I gotta cut it down, but I'm gonna end up building a frame right in here that's got like a door that I can lift up to the top so I can put in all the composting material underneath. The mesh floor that I'll be installing in here so that when they're perched on their roosts and they're pooping, well, they just poop down onto the compost pile. There will be a door right in here that they can go out. They'll come out of this door with a little ladder system coming down. They can access the composting material underneath. Once they've got that thoroughly soiled, I can take a rake, rake it out into a pile out here and pile it up and the chickens will do their work. They're going to absolutely just wreck that pile, pulling it apart, aerating it at the same time. And then once they've got it all scraped out, pile it back up, let them do it all over again. And I can do that three or four times before it exits on the far end here. I got to build a gate and when it exits out of there, it will be compost ready for the garden. Every week, I'm hoping to have a new pile of compost going out so we can compost for our garden. One way to do it. I had to upgrade some of my tools to cordless battery packs. Down here, because I don't have any power down there. That's the cut side, right? Yep. I'm gonna put the factory cut down first. Stuck. Yeah. Must be her den. Kevlar gloves. Wow. Two pairs of them? We get one in each. <laughs> sure. So we have to take this to ER. Oh. All right, so today we're working on the inside of the chicken coop while Caitlin's at work. I want to have an efficient system and I want to be able to do all the things that I want to do. I want to be these chickens to work for us for eggs, for meat, and as well for creating compost. So to have all those systems in place and be running as soon as we hit the ground, that's the goal I'm going for. I'm learning as I go. Right here, I'm just reinforcing the uh, these guys here with some screws. And then down here, what I'm doing is I pounded this guy in and then screwed it in to the frame. And I screw it in down there to the uh, two by six. And that'll be kind of like the outside frame of the door that's gonna flip open to let the green stuff in. So that's the idea there. I'm gonna do it about four feet. Do another one over there. And then we will have a frame that opens up and closes. Just a disclosure, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up as I go and uh, hopefully it's going to work out. If not, it'll be a catastrophic failure and I'm okay with that because then I guess get to learn from it and start over, I guess. But uh, just goes to show that even somebody with 
no construction experience, you can still get some stuff done. You just got to get up and do it. What you up to? I've uh, got the holes dugs. Dugs? Holes dugs. Yeah. Both dugs too. <laughs> We're building the gate. I've got two holes dug now. They're about 20 inches deep. Um, cut a couple of logs to eight foot length. Sinking them in there. Just got to get them leveled, get them tamped. And then we can run some two by fours on them to uh, mount the hinges. And then I got to build the actual gate itself. I'm toying with a couple different ideas, like branches going up and down. And then cut them at like kind of a upwards V angle. Hello? Ready lunch. Lunch is ready. Yep. Okay. Oh, this is a Phillips. Do you have a reg uh, Phillips head? Oh, these are gonna... Hold on. Those are gonna be too big, I think, aren't they? No, okay. Maybe screwed in there. I told you they were too long. Well, uh, I didn't know if they were too long enough. One problematic little root. It's still caught on it. <laughs> Clear now. Can you tighten those? Mm -hmm. Yay! Dastardly root. Okay. So it opens and closes more. Let's get the frames. Okay. Oh, it worked. Too... I'd rather have too much than too little. Oh, painful. What? Oh, just talking to myself. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Yeah, it's so fun, eh? Snip, snip, snip. Where's your angle grinder? Down here. Oh.
It didn't stay in. That didn't stay in. A staple. Penetrate the wood. Oh, it just popped right out. It literally just sprung out. Okay, well this is cut to size. I just need um, whatever you were saying, those nails. Back to the hardware store, I guess. Yeah. Are you okay if the wire goes on top of the hinge? Well, that's fine. Okay. As long as it isn't covering up this part. No. So this is how it was supposed to be when it was really long. I don't know what happened over there. Maybe it's a little taller, like the ground. Maybe. Oh, getting in the. What do they call that? The footer? Or the foot plate? Sure. No, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. The bottom of the gate. What are you screaming about? It ain't perfect. And I know it. And I put it up anyway. Because I'd rather put it up imperfect at this point than wasting more time trying to get it perfect. This isn't done properly. <laughs> I kind of mutilated it, but damn it, I did it. <laughs> Everything takes longer than it's supposed to. You think in your head, yeah, that'll just take me like a few hours to put that up, a couple hours to put that up, and a couple days, this will be done. This is week two. Yeah. Week two. Looks pretty darn good to me. So we get the gate up and then put in the hinges, and then I just have to build a gate. It looks great, honey. <laughs> I swear it's these they're like lopsided. It's take a bit of technique, but there we go. Well you got the gate done. That's not a gate, sorry. It's a got the frame. It's a door. The door frame. And it flips up. Oh, that door. I see what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about this one. Over here. Hi, friend. And it's going to have a little latch up here so it can stay open. And then down below, like we've been talking about, the compost and like wood chips and whatever mulch is going to go into there. And the chickens can poop on it. Nice. This is the gate. Uh, it's square. It's set, it swings, voila. Now it clears the handle. I gotta get, switch gears and get the stuff in here done so that they have a coop to go in. I need the door, I need the floor, and I need the, uh, the perching racks. All right, I feel like my knees I've been uh, tenderized <laughs> by kneeling on this stuff. But I got it stapled on either end. It's firm. You can walk on it. It is good enough for chickens. And that is one more step down. Getting this thing done today, hon? That's the plan. I've said that though a couple times now. So we're putting up the welded wire at the top of the coop there for really good ventilation and also preventing any small critters from getting in. Oh man, you guys are getting big. Hi, chicks. And hopefully today we'll get you out to the coop. Just need to finish one last piece of fencing.
no, every, every single time. Start it spinning and then it just goes woom. Is this on too high of a speed? Like, what is there a speed no. setting? Mm -hmm. Just me. Okay, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. So you're not you're having trouble too with the screws. So once upon a time, I was sent to the grocery store to pick up some lettuce. And being a good husband, I went to the grocery store to go get the lettuce. And when I came back, my wife wasn't very impressed with the lettuce I picked out. Because apparently I didn't grab lettuce, I grabbed cabbage. Well, I think there's a few men out there that are probably guilty of doing this at least once or twice. But let me tell you what the female equivalent is. When your wife goes to the store to get screws, and you specifically say make sure you get wood screws, make sure she knows where to see that it, they're wood screws <laughs> and not metal screws. She gets metal screws and comes home and, why won't these go into the wood properly? <laughs> what, she dropping half a dozen screws into the chicken coop because she got metal screws, not wood screws. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least this time I figured out what I was doing wrong before I actually did it. What I almost did was installed the walkway into the doorway that I just finished cutting out rather than installing it on the wall on the outside of the doorway. You get those mosquitoes. Get them. <laughs> Long term, oh. like after, when we don't have meat chickens for them yeah. to be guarding, I see the geese just kind of roaming. Probably. We're going outside, chickens. You're so happy. The day has finally arrived. Chickens make their journey to the coop. The first stop was the coop itself. We wanted to leave them in there for a couple days so they could reorientate that this is their new home. Stripes 
That one's so cool. I love this color. That, like, white and speckled one. Oh, yeah. Pretty. Of course. So which one is uh, your cuddle girl? Is it this one or the other one? Which one? Hey girl. There you go. You got a cuddle chicken. Comes right up to you. Oh, can I jump? Got too much to do. Who is the first one to go to freedom here? Come on, we're going to a better place with grass.